Now here it says, once you have applied online, proved your identity and provided your documents, you'll usually get a decision on your visa within three weeks. So within three weeks, you might just find yourself in the UK. Hello, beautiful people. How are you doing? I hope you're all doing fine. Now, if you're new on this channel, I want to welcome you please ensure that you're part of this channel by subscribing and clicking on the bell button in order not to miss out whenever i upload a new video now on this channel i talk about everything immigration working abroad living abroad and studying abroad now in today's video i want to share with you an exciting pathway to the uk Many people have testimonies from tra traveling to the UK through this particular visa program. And I realized, according to my research, that very few people talk about it. So I'm here, as usual, to bring you guys the good news on this visa that you can use as an, a chance or a pathway to go to UK and be able to work. Now, without wasting your time, I just want to take you through the eligibility criteria for this particular visa. Now, one, you must be 18 years and above. Number two, you must be working in the faith industry, not necessarily Christian. You can be Hindu, Muslim, or any other faith-based community group that is recognized by the government of UK. And Number three, you must obtain a job offer letter from a faith-based community in the UK. Now, this job offer will enable you to acquire a certificate of sponsorship from your employer in the UK that will enable you to be able to apply for this visa. And in addition, this is a point-based immigration program. By this, I mean that you need to raise 70 points that are required in order to qualify for this particular program. Now, once you obtain the job offer letter and the certificate of sponsorship from the employer, it will automatically give you 50 points. And after earning the 50 points, you will then be required to take the IELTS English test. Now, in case you want, you don't want to take the English test, you have an option in this case that you can apply for a certificate that is not formally known as the NARIC or the ECTIS that verifies that your academic qualifications back in your home country were taught in English language that is equivalent to the UK standards. So this is an option for you, just in case you don't want to take the English test, you can opt to get this certificate. Once you do the English test, it will automatically add you 10 points. So you'll now have 60 points, you're left with the 10 points. And next you will have to provide the proof of funds. This proof of funds must be equivalent to 1,270 pounds. And this will enable you to also earn more 10 points. So basically, if you're able to provide the job offer letter and the English language test results and the proof of funds, you already qualify to apply for this visa. Now, in case you're to travel with your family members, you will be required to provide additional proof of funds. For a spouse, you're required to, to provide 285 pounds and for your children the first child you will have to provide proof of funds worth 315 pounds and for the other kids you will provide 200 pounds each the other thing you need to know about the proof of funds just in case you cannot raise the required amount of money you can ask your employer to confirm to the government that they can sponsor you if your employer can support you, you need to get uh, that included in your certificate of sponsorship and your employer will have to complete the sponsor certifies maintenance section on your certificate to verify or confirm to the government that they are able to maintain you or sustain your stay in the UK for at least 
one or two months on arrival so in this way you will not need to show the proof of funds so you need to take note of that now the other thing that is required of you is to present a tuberculosis test in case you're coming from a country that is required to do so so you'll need to take the test and present the results because it's a requirement so let me take you through some of the jobs that you can do through this visa or the jobs you can apply for or the jobs you qualify for through this visa one the archbishop two the deacons three the pastors the clergy the clerk in holy order the dean the ecclesiastes the elders in the church the evangelists healer imam sheikh member of religious communities those are some of the list of jobs that you can apply to or in case you are qualified in any of these fields in your country you are eligible to apply through this particular program now having said all this i just want to take you to the government website where you can take your time and read for yourselves the details of this particular visa program now in case you need any more information you will be able to find it there and go ahead and apply try out your luck because many people have had success stories through this particular program i will also ensure to leave some job links for you in the description box down below so always ensure that you check my description box it's down there for those of you who don't know so that you can be able to follow those links and apply for those jobs try your luck you never know this might be the pathway for you and your family to be able to relocate to the uk otherwise god bless you thank you guys for watching i appreciate all your support if you haven't yet subscribed and you're here watching me what are you waiting for ensure to subscribe and see you on the next video thank you guys for watching so here we are on the uk government website and i just want to show you an overview of what i've been talking about if you want to google it on your own you can check the link in the description box or you can google www.gkv.uk slash minister of religion visa and you'll find yourself on this website so here it says minister of religion visa t2 as you see the overview says you can apply for a minister of religion visa t2 if you've been offered a job within a faith community for example as a minister of religion missionary or member of a religious order in the uk then here they say you and also if you meet the eligibility requirements so we click here to check what are the additional eligibility requirements maybe i missed something out here it says eligibility you must you need to have a certificate of sponsorship for your job i already explained that you need to have proof of your knowledge of english and you must have personal savings so you can support yourself when you arrive in the uk show you also need to show you can travel and your travel history over the last five years you also need to have tuberculosis test results if you're from a listed country you need also to be above 18 years when you apply so this is it here they explain to you about the certificate of sponsorship so about the certificate of sponsorship as you can see the employer has to give you the reference number that you will use to add to your application so basically you will come to the website check out all the details that you need to know about this particular visa and then go ahead and apply otherwise thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one